Um, much to the surprise of my children, at least, I'm not a comedian. My daytime job, I'm the HR manager at Taylor's Wines, and it's with a lot of pride that I say that the heart and soul of our um, business, which is our winery operations, is located here in the Clare Valley. As a HR manager, it's fairly easy to understand why the theme of this summer, which is the changing nature of work, is of particular interest to me. Like many others here today, I also have a young family in regional South Australia, mm -hmm. and consequently, this further drives my interest in the changing nature of work. When I consider the topic of industry engagement, I immediately think of the mutual benefits that are available to communities, government and industry. With this in mind, imagine the possibilities in a scenario where industry, government and training providers form a partnership that works towards a common goal. I believe that the Mid-North Engineering Academy is a great example of how industry, government and education providers are working together to make positive change within our local communities. Over the next several minutes, I'll talk to you about the important subject matter of why the Mid-North Engineering Academy exists. I'll also briefly cover what we do and how we go about it. And in concluding, I'll put forward my views on the future of the Academy. So why does the Mid-North Engineering Academy exist, or what is our purpose? This is, this is a really key message from, I guess, all the exec of the Academy. In mid-2011, a group of businesses located across the Mid-North came together to discuss skill shortages within our, um, within our regions, within the engineering trades. From these discussions, it was clear that we, local business, need to take more responsibility for these skill shortages. It was also clear that the image of engineering trades needed to be strengthened amongst students, parents and schools. We felt that many school leavers that move out of the region for work or further studies are simply unaware of the opportunities within engineering trades across the region. To work towards resolving these industry concerns, we felt that we needed to find a way to engage with high school students, government and training providers to promote engineering trades and career pathways that are available beyond engineering trades. This in turn would enable us to achieve our goal, which is to keep the best local students who aspire to careers in engineering trades within our local communities. The, the Academy aims to achieve this goal via promoting engineering trades within our local communities, promoting career pathways that are available beyond engineering trades, developing and augmenting the knowledge and skill base of our students in order to ensure that they are exposed to the leadership and management opportunities that exist within their local industries. The Mid-North Engineering Academy is an industry-led initiative. Whilst we need more industry members, we should also recognise those businesses that are already involved. They're on the screen in front of you. The Academy is a partnership of local business and TAFE SA, administered under the auspice of Regional Development Australia, York and Mid-North. The Mid-North Engineering Academy is unique. We're not aware of any other offerings like ours. So a little bit on how we go about it. The Academy is a one-year program of engineering study which commences in Year 11, Term 3. The Academy incorporates training at TAFE SA and partnering schools, work placements, wraparound sessions supported by our industry partners. The wraparound sessions are delivered by industry and include topics like lean manufacturing, quality and risk management systems, finance and costing and communication skills. Students typically attend a one-week block of training each term at TAFE SA. Students also attend two weeks of work placements during their school holidays or as otherwise negotiated with their school. We believe that the connectivity with industry via work placements and our wraparound sessions combined with the mentoring of our students present our students with the unique opportunities. The Mid-North Engineering Academy is open to any Year 11 student across the Mid-North, Lower North, Southern Flinders, York Peninsula and Barossa Valley. The Academy is open to both government and independent schools. It is expected that applicants wish to pursue a career in engineering and manufacturing industries. It is also expected that Academy students have the desire and potential to become leaders and managers within our local communities. So what does the future hold for the Academy? Our first intake of students was in February 2012. It hasn't been an easy journey, and as a result, we're in the process of refining our business model, ready for our new Term 3 intake in 2017. Reg Dennis, who's here today, he asked me not to make him stand up. He's involved in the secondary learning 
Improvement Division within the Department of Education and Child Development, and he has been instrumental in helping us refine our program. In particular, the connectivity that REG has with the schools has proven to be invaluable. The work that REG has done is vital for our ongoing success. Industry commitment towards the academy and our goal of keeping the best local students who aspire to careers in engineering trades within our local communities remain strong. I would like to add that the future of the Mid-North Engineering Academy is entirely dependent on the ongoing support of industry. More members are needed. And of course our partners, TAFE SA, Regional Development Australia, York and Mid-North, and the Department of Education and Child Debe Development. Students. Engineering trades offer great career pathways and there's many examples of that within our local communities. And it's the same message to parents and schools and the broader community. Um, in closing, I believe that the Academy is a great example of how industry and education providers are working together to make positive change within our local communities. Thank you.